Hello, hello. Hi, creative souls. This is Des of DesireEast.com, your transformational coach disguised as an artist. And welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to use creativity and art making as a source of transformation for personal, spiritual, and professional growth, um, be sure to follow me at DesireEast.com. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and um, click that little uh, subscribe button and the bell to stay in the loop. And welcome. It is a beautiful, glorious day. The sun's shining, at least here in California. And um, it is 11-11, November 11th. And 11-11 is when I clocked in and did a, um, I did a short little med meditation um, before I came on live. And today we are going to pick a card and paint and connect with our intentions today. Today's a really um, powerful day in the spiritual world, in the spiritual realms, to connect with um, this energetic numbers that are related to 1111 and um, if you're new to numerology or um, learning about angel numbers, it's all about spiritual awareness. So um, if you're here, be sure to say hi. I, I can see you on the live chat. So um, be sure to say hi and I'll try and answer any questions that you have. But anyways, um, Number 11. So it's all about spiritual awareness and your intuition and your connection to um, yourself as a person, as a human being, and that connection to the universe and everything that is above you, the cosmos, everything that's connected to you on a spiritual level. level. So if you're looking at, for example, um, your body and um, your chakras, for example, and you have this energy that is grounding you to the ground, to Mother Earth, and that energy radiates up all the way through your crown chakra, up into the sky, past the clouds, <laughs> into the cosmos. Um, we're talking about that energy. So that energy that is connecting your spirit, making that connection from human to spirit. Okay, that is the connection um, that we're talking about today, that connection that is bigger than you, um, that connection that seeks truth and wisdom through enlightenment and through, um, through vision. So um, looking at yourself and the world and human beings as visionaries, okay? Um, we're connecting to that, that energy, those energies today. And um, I decided that we are going to um, draw some cards from our angels. So healing with the angels. Um, that's what this deck is. Uh, we'll do individual readings from this. So I'll let you choose uh, one card. You get to pick one card from that deck. And I'll also choose a single deck, I'm um, sorry, a single card for the Creative Collected from the Tarot of a Moon Garden deck. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna paint. So go ahead and get your painting supplies out. If you haven't done so already, you can use whatever you want. If you feel like watercolor, get grab your watercolors. You can do acrylic. If you feel like doing some collage today, um, pastels. If you feel like simply sketching or doodling, that's fine as well. Whatever you feel called to do, go ahead and grab your supplies if you haven't done so. Um, I have my tea. Got my tea here to keep my, hmm, so good. <clears throat> keep my voice nice and soothing as we go along. And it says, I have a message here, live, righteously and love everyone <coughs> excuse me love that live righteously and love everyone <coughs> i think that's been a common theme oh. um in the fact the past few days 
um, as we've been, uh, you know, coming together as a collective to heal and oh, so much going on. But anyways, I think that's been the biggest message that's been coming through for a lot of people <coughs> in regards to healing the earth and humanity is coming together in love. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we'll focus on that too. Got a little tea down the wrong tube. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's settle in before we get started. So um, go ahead and uh, <laughs> I'm rubbing my hands together because it's a little cold in my studio, but uh, go ahead and get settled in your chair <clears throat> and sit comfortably and ground your feet and ground your body. Just let your let gravity take over. You can't, if you hear me shuffling around, I'm <clears throat> making myself comfortable. Okay. So just take a couple of deep breaths in before we get started and let's ground ourselves. Inhale in. And exhale. And inhale in. And exhale. And one more inhale in. And exhale, and let all your worries melt away. Roll your shoulders back if you need to, and let anything, any worries or stress that you have from the morning or any chaos, any weird energies that you have, just let it fall to the ground and know that Mother Earth is here to support you. <clears throat> and we'll call on our guides of light, ancestors, and Archangel today to help guide us in the right direction as we choose our cards and paint our paintings and um, allow for positive messages to flow through us as we create our artwork and connect to our higher selves and our creative wisdom. <sighs> I'm feeling better all wet, ready from those couple of breaths. I had a crazy, pretty crazy chaotic morning, so. Um, childlike crazy, five-year-old crazy, in a good way. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get started. I'm going to pull a card. Um, first, I'll start by laying some cards out <clears throat> uh, for you to pick. And hmm, shuffle them around. And I'm going to set some intentions that any message that you receive today will be for the highest good, for your highest good, and for the world's highest good, and everyone that you surround, you're surrounded with, and that you surround yourself. Okay. <clears throat> okay. One. Two. Okay, <clears throat> so we have these cards here. And I'm going to lay some crystals here just so you know which you can remember which one that you're picking. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm also going to draw a card for the Creative Collective. deep breath before you choose your card and um, if you have anything that any question or 
um, something that you have a would like to know more about in your life at this moment in time, go ahead and have that in your mind. And <clears throat> as you do that, just think of it as a way of how your the card that you're going to pick today can help you through the day or the rest of the week. Okay, so I'm gonna give you one more minute to think about that. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so you ready? And then I'll, I'll make the connection with the Creative Collective after we look at your cards. <clears throat> okay, so if you pick the first card with the clear quartz, your card says listening. So this card is all about listening. And I'll go over each individual one in a second. <clears throat> if you chose the card with the green event dream, oops, there we go. Um, you chose the card of intention. And if you chose the card with the amethyst, you chose romance. Okay. <clears throat> And for the Creative Collective, let's see what we've got here. Judgment. Interesting. Hmm. Judgment. Usually that has to do with awareness, which is very interesting because we're talking about 11 to 11, the number 11, and that's all about awareness, something that, um, that you've become aware of. It's a new awareness and usually it's connected to the spiritual realm or that thing that's bigger than us. All right. Hey, Justine, how are you? <clears throat> so these are the cards that we have today. So again, if you pick number one, it was listening. The second one was intention. And the third one was romance. And for the, uh, the creative collective, it was judgment. Okay, so if you chose listening, what in your life, what's going, okay, let me think about this for a minute. So this card, I actually talked about this um, a couple of days ago when I did another um, intuitive painting and uh, intuitive reading. And so listening, so how is, how are you inviting listening into your life? In what ways are you listening from a place of love and compassion? And not only that, what types of things are you listening to? So, you know, we're talking about awareness today. And um, with the number 11, and especially 1111, it's all about being aware of things that are positive. What things are you listening to that is bringing positivity into your life? Okay. How are you listening from a place of service that is for the betterment of humanity and the people around you that you love? In what ways are you listening with compassion and with your heart? That's what I think about when I hear, when I see listening. Okay, and if there's anything, any other meanings that come up for you, those meanings and messages will come through as you start painting. So when we start um, painting, I just wanted to uh, note that <clears throat> when we start the creative process, this is very important when it comes to tapping into your intuition and connecting to your higher consciousness. Once we start the creative process, after we look at the cards, you'll have a chance to 
get into this mode, this creative mode, and you, you'll feel it. You'll feel it click in into your mind and into your body when all of a sudden, all of your negative thoughts, all your left brain, logistical, analytical, this is right, this is wrong, the, um, you know, your critter brain, that's going to start melting away and you're going to start connecting to your higher intuition and you'll feel it in your body and you'll feel it as you start to paint. So um, I'm going to walk you through that as we do that. But when you paint um, your artwork today, I want you to listen to the messages that are coming through. And um, so you're listening, you know, from, you can see there, there's a picture of a woman and an angel. And um, I've called the angels to come to us, the archangels to come to us today. And um, what are they trying to say? Okay. They're here to protect us and guide us. And um, this is a wonderful way to connect to those messages. Okay. Hi, Kat. How are you? Welcome. Okay. If you chose the second card, the second card was intention. Okay. So again, this is all about, um, it's almost connected to the listening. So as far as intentions go, what intention are you bringing into your life today at this moment um, during the week? What intentions are you setting for your loved ones and the ones that are close around you? And even more so, again, we're connecting to 11 and 11 and the thing that is bigger than us and connecting humanity with the universe and how we're all connected in that way. What intentions are you bringing to not only your higher self, but to everyone that is connected to you throughout the world energetically? Um, every intention that we set for ourselves is like a ripple in the water. So when you drop a rock into the water, you see the ripples. And so that intention ripples out into the water and it expands. It's the same type of energy. When that energy expands out in the water, it's like expanding that energy out into the world from yourself to your closest ones, your loved ones, and then it affects them. And then your loved ones ripple that energy out to everyone else around them, right? So what are your intentions? And again, once we start painting and creating our art, you'll hear more messages come in um, and you'll connect to that beautiful energy. Okay, and right now you can set an intention also before we start, everybody could. Next one is romance. <laughs> so um, romance, it's an obvious card, right? But more than that, when I see the romance card, I, I kind of also see it as the lover's card in tarot. Um, beyond the romance, usually this talks about a union of two people or um, something that has to do with um, a coming together of something. So it doesn't always have to necessarily mean anything romantic. And um, that's funny, because not funny, but like it's the funny part. <laughs> The um, coincidentally, I should say, is that um, the number 11 is all about the same thing. So coming together, um, the coming together and that connection, the connection of union and bringing the together of you as a human connecting to the universe. And then you have the number 11 right next to each other, um, truth and wisdom. It's, um, it's, coincidence, right? But anyways, um, romance. So again, not necessarily have to do with romance, but definitely has the energy of love and union and how can you come together um, to create this thing that is um, harmonious. That's the thing that we think about with romance, right? And the yin and the yang, female and male energies. You need the opposite. You need opposite things for things to come together. And how do you do that? Right? How do you create that balance and that that union? Uh, it's also related to partnership. And like I mentioned before, duality and of course love. So when you draw this card, or if you pick this card, what is it in your life where you are seeking um, a balance of duality or coming together of a union? Uh, 
and seeking that connection where everything comes together in a nice, beautiful, uh, harmonious connection. Okay, that's what we're looking at here. Again, once you start painting, you'll have more messages come to you as you connect to your higher wisdom. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so for the Creative Collective, I chose, or I didn't choose it, but the card that decided to show up for us today is Judgment. And again, connected to 1111. So this is all about an awakening or a new awareness. And I know that the world, the entire world, the last few weeks, um, since COVID really, and coming up to the end of 2020 and into 2021, a lot of us have been, you know, really questioning things and seeing things with a new eye, with new eyes and coming to a new awareness or an awakening of something. And I know that a lot of people have been connecting to that thing that is bigger than them. Okay, going back to 1111, connecting um, their human physical body with that thing that is bigger than them that is supporting them. So this connection of an awareness that is bigger than you. And sometimes that awareness is not something that we see in a physical form, but it is a truth and a wisdom that supports us in an enlightened way, okay? And so um, these are all you know, messages also from our angels and how funny there's a picture of angels in this painting or in this, in this card at least. And um, there's a picture of a white dove which symbolizes peace. Okay, so this is definitely a message from our angels. 1111 is an angel number. 11 is an angel number. This is about manifesting things into reality and bringing that new awareness, that spiritual awareness that we're trying to um, connect to and manifesting that into reality, into physical form. Okay, and it's all connected to um, your spiritual life pur purpose as well, okay? And really connecting to that, that energetic gateway up to the heavens, up to the cosmos, and radiating uh, positivity as well. Okay, so that's for the collective. Very powerful card on this 11-11 day. All right, so let's paint. So I'm going to put these aside, and we will start painting. Put that there. Um, let me actually, before I do that, I'll review one more time. Okay, so if you chose card number one, that was listening, listening to your higher self, listening to our guides, listening with um, compassion and love, heart centered listening, and any other messages that come through while you paint, those will come through. Um, the second card was intention. What are your intentions, not only for yourself, but um, for your loved ones? And how will your intention ripple out to the world and out to the universe for the greater good? That's number two. And third one is the romance card. And beyond romance, beyond love, what things are you trying to connect together to create union? So we're talking about duality, female, male energies, yin and yang. How are we bringing those together to create harmony and love? And last but not least, for the creative collective, for all of us, judgment. So this is all about a new awareness, an awareness that is bigger than anything that we could see or feel messages from our higher, not only from our higher selves, but from the cosmos, the universe, God, goddesses, whatever you'd like to connect to. What is that new awareness, that new awakening that you have been connecting to? Again, more messages will come in to you personally as we paint. So listen to those messages as you start your artwork. All right? All right, so let's start painting. 